Welcome back boxing fans and alternative boxing fans because as we saw on uh, Saturday night in Dubai, Hafor Bjornsson, the ex-strongman, world's strongest man and Devon Larratt, heavyweight champion arm wrestling, went head-to-head in a non-exhibition match. As you can see here, the rules, it was six rounds of three minutes. Uh, they were allowed to knock each other out. There was official uh, scores being taken by judges. Uh, so it was more of a real fight. It wasn't a, a boring, well, it kind of was boring from what you saw from one round. But it was not an exhibition fight. They were allowed to hurt each other. And obviously, Devon, unfortunately, was hurt by Hafor. So obviously, going into this, we knew that Devon only had five weeks to prepare. He's also not a boxer. And obviously, Hafor isn't a boxer either, but he's had a lot more time to prepare, a lot more time to train. And also, he did look like the more seasoned person because that's what he's been focusing on. He hasn't been doing anything else but boxing. And, uh, you know, despite the, the the fact that the pair are quite large, you know, obviously, I think Devon was a good matchup in terms of height and weight. You know, obviously, Hafor dwarfs anyone, even though he's lost 50 kilos, he's still pushing 140 lean at six foot eight plus and um, basically you know we had a we had a fight that people didn't want to happen because it was meant to be eddie hall but as we know he had the bicep injury it's now been delayed till march however devon stepped in last minute and you know fair play to him to do that is a big deal because you know there's always the risk in any boxing that you can get hurt and you know devon has a background in special forces so people were thinking hmm, maybe he can pull something out the bag surprise us all um which he didn't. Um, now, obviously, with that uh, first video segment you saw, you could hear the contact from um, Hathor's punch, you know, and it did, it did, as you could see, temporarily cause Devon to see stars. He was definitely stunned by it. Um, now, obviously, a lot of people were saying that the ref called it too early. It was a TKO and a standing one as well. I would agree. I think he shouldn't have called it there. He should have allowed them to continue and at least have one more round because, you know, Devon is, I'll be honest, he is all over the place in the ring. And if you want to watch the full the full video, you can watch it on YouTube. There's a few YouTubers that have posted it. It's only four minutes long, if that. Um, I've just got a couple of segments here just so you can see. And, you know, he's, you can see he's not a boxer. His arms were over the place. He was, you know, making weird noises. He kept falling over. He kept falling into um, half all of the clinch. And it just, you know, it just looked crap, basically. Like, you could tell it wasn't... Obviously, we know it's not going to be a professional fight. You know, if people were expecting that, they're pretty naive. But it was very evident here that you could see that Devon had literally no experience. So it was kind of, like, unfair for him. And uh, obviously for the fans, anyone who paid for pay-per-view, I think they were disappointed. And no doubt Devon got a good amount of money for doing it, hence why he agreed to do it. He said he wanted the experience of boxing as well, which I imagine is sincere and true. But ultimately, money talks, as we know about boxing. Boxing's become a bit of a, you know, let's say, um, not a circus, but it's definitely all about money and entertainment now, more than the actual quality of the uh, the athletes and, and the the respect for the sport from where it started, like for the likes of Jake Paul, all these stupid fights that keep going ahead with YouTubers and wannabe celebrities or whatever. Um, obviously, these two are credible athletes in their own right, in their own fields. You know, it's interesting to see them come together like this, um, but ultimately, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not saying everyone, everyone's cup of tea, basically. For me, I, I did enjoy seeing them. I would, like I said, I would like to see a little bit more at least two rounds um, and an actual proper knockout or, or, you know, a real fight. But it is what it is. And, you know, thanks to Core Sports World and MTK Global, all the other organisers involved for putting it on for us. Um, I'll be honest, I don't think it is worth pay-per-view. Um, the other fights were good, I will say. I didn't watch all of them. I watched some of them. I will talk about the ladies after this shortly. But uh, irregardless, you know, let's just all now sit back let Ford continue training and wait for Eddie Hall in March. Obviously, Eddie is anxious and I'm sure uh, excited to uh, finally have his fight with him. And that's what we all want to see, you know, at the end of the day. So we know that's going to be a proper fight. And that's going to be one that's going to bring in a lot of money and a lot of a lot of people, you know. It's, it's, it's going to be a lot more hype. Um, so we'll see what happens. You know, this is a funny photo here. I've flagged this up again uh, from the past with... Uh, Larry and Hafor and Eddie there. And obviously I think Devon, you know, stick to uh, arm wrestling and please take on Levin. 
Anyway, so next up we had um, Avril against um, Jessica. And as we know, Avril is undefeated. And as a result of uh, this, res uh, this fight, she continues that uh, streak. So for those of you who don't know who Avril is, she's a 34-year-old Aussie. She lives in Miami and uh, she's a bit of an all-rounder. Um, you know, she's obviously a bantamweight uh, boxer, undefeated. Like I mentioned, she now has a seven win streak winning streak um if you obviously fancy her because a lot of men do she is very hot uh, she does have only fans so obviously you can check her out there um but i'm just focusing on the fact that she's an athlete and a very fit athlete um by that standard as well so obviously there was some actual interesting stakes if you if you put a bet on and she remained undefeated uh, through Redcon. You actually got a free subscription to uh, to their package to watch fights and whatnot. So that's interesting. And there's some, there was another incentive as well. But I think obviously they were very confident that she was going to take this win. So her opponent was Jessica Mafingana, I believe you pronounce it that way. She's a 22 year old boxer from Tanzania. Um, I believe she's had three bouts um, prior to this fight. So obviously she's not as experienced. As Avril, um, she's but she is also twelve years younger. So obviously she had some, uh, you know, pros to her there in terms of her fitness and whatnot. However, less experience and obviously it's still quite a big fight for her. You know, um, lots of big fights happening that day. I'm sure she was nervous and um, a bit anxious going into it. But overall, she looked like a pretty good solid fighter. Um, I was impressed with her. I didn't think that Avril dominated her to be honest. Um, but in terms of how it went, obviously, with the uh, the judges, they scored it as a unanimous, unanimous decision in uh, Avril's favour. So, obviously, she took that win and continues that winning streak. So, congratulations to Avril. Commiserations to Jessica. Again, if you want the full fight, you can go on Core Sports World and obviously sign up and re-watch it um, on demand. I'm sure there also are some other YouTubers who've posted elements of the fight, but for me, because I want to respect copyright and obviously not um, have any issues there with Core Sports Wells and MTK Global, I've just showed you a very brief um, snapshot there. So well done, ladies. Moving on to the final fight I'm going to review, which is Steffi Cohen and Marcella Nieto, uh, the Colombian, uh, obviously being Marcelo, and obviously the American Steffi. Steffi is a 25 uh, times world champion and world record holder in powerlifting. She's 29 years old and obviously as some of you may know she had a fight not so long ago, um, her first ever boxing fight and actually won that. So this is her second fight for uh, Marcella, it's her third professional bout and, obviously and this was a featherweight fight. So unfortunately there's not actually any footage um, because the, the live stream went down um, for the guys of Sports World so don't really have much footage and like I said previously I'm not going to show you much anyway because I can't you know it's, I've got to respect the pay-per-view so I've just got a few snapshots and a few little recordings from some of the fans in the crowd um, but this fight was an interesting one it was uh, definitely not anyone's um, and as a result it went to a split decision where there was a tie um, no one actually won so uh, I was impressed with Steffi she's you know she's a real powerhouse and uh, you know Marcella, she took some, she took some, sh a lot of shots to the face. I can see here, um, you know, good, good chin, uh, good strike to the chin there. And again, there she doesn't even have her guard up. So I don't know if that's her tactic because she's overconfident, um, or you know, she just kind of a bit like Tyson Fury likes to keep the hands down when, let's face it, that's not very wise. Whether you know whether you're against someone who's experienced or not, if they get if they get that contact, you know, clip you right. You're down, so it's a bit reckless and um, I'd say a bit arrogant. But whatever her reasons were, it didn't change the fact that neither of them lost. So that was interesting to 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 say the least. So let me know in the comment section below, guys and girls, what you thought of these three fights and any of the others that I haven't covered. I can't cover them all because there was nine fights in total, so it's a bit too many. But these were my favourite three. So I hope you liked today's video. If you did, as always, please remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll be making some more videos on the ladies and obviously half or when the final match with Eddie Hall happens. So anyway, guys, take care and I'll see you soon. And we go on fitness, signing out.